The biggest trade battle between China and the European Union has taken an unexpected twist. More than a thousand European solar panel companies and their customers are coming to the defense of their Chinese counterparts. They've signed a petition urging the EU not to slap import duties on Chinese-made solar panels. Jack Barton reports. It all began last year when a group of German solar panel manufacturers pushed the European Commission to hit Chinese panel and parts imports with tariffs. This was over allegations they were being sold below the cost of production, known as dumping. Up to 8,000 European manufacturing jobs were said to be at stake. An investigation was launched and it quickly escalated into a major trade row. More than 1,000 European businesses and consumers have now fired back with an open letter to the European Trade Commissioner warning import duties would be economically and environmentally disastrous for Europe. Hiking prices, slowing demand, affecting the entire photovoltaic industry, supply, installation and maintenance chain. Along the PV value chain, you have 265,000 jobs at stake. Paul Ed van der Scheuren says many emissions-conscious consumers also added their names to the letter. Because duties would be a setback for the growth of solar energy and for the achievement of the renewable energy targets. With the European Commission's investigation in its final months, the industry is getting nervous. Expectations that the Commission will slap tariffs on Chinese solar panel imports grew last month when it ordered customs agents to begin recording imports with the idea of retroactively applying tariffs. The Commission has tried to play down the move. It's a bureaucratic procedure, and I hate to use the term bureaucratic, but it's absolutely uh, the term to use in this instance. Europe's photovoltaic industry sees it differently. Pure chaos and panic. Companies realized that duties were coming very close, very nearby, and therefore started reacting because they understood that their livelihoods are at stake. So the European Commission enters the final two months of its anti-dumping probe, knowing it now faces growing anger both abroad and at home. Jack Barton, CCTV, Brussels.